Hi, welcome back. Ooh. We're going to be doing a, another vlog today. Today is Saturday and we were supposed to be putting up my bookshelf, which I'm super, super duper excited about. Um, but my husband went out last night and um, drank a bit too much on an empty stomach and has caused utter devastation. He's still in bed. Um, he literally fell in the bath and just chaos, absolute chaos. I'll show you. So yeah, this happened. <laughs> and I've had to clean up a bit of sick as well this morning, which was delightful. <laughs> I'm not complaining though, he never goes out like in the what nine, almost nine years that we've been together. He's probably been out about five times. He just doesn't go out. So he obviously enjoys himself, which is the most important thing. So I think today I'm just gonna do some reading. And then tomorrow we'll be putting up my bookshelf. <gasps> I'm so excited. I'm so excited for it. But we just have to make like adjustments to the skirting board and everything to fit it in. I've had to go for the like slim billy bookcase just to make sure that I can actually get it in. Because there's just nowhere to put it otherwise. But yeah, as I say, I'm just going to read today. So I'll show you what I'm reading. So I'm currently reading City of Glass. I'm enjoying this more than the previous two books. The previous two books I just found just really slow and I just wasn't interested in them that much. I was interested enough to carry on reading them, but they just weren't great, I don't think. But this one's definitely better. I'm still not okay with the relationship between the two main characters i'm like what what is going on there and then somebody commented on my march tbr that cassandra clare has just plagiarized another author and i'm just like Ugh, why why it's not cool at all but if the rest of the book i think i'm just short of halfway through if the rest of the book is also enjoyable then i will move on to the next book at some point and we'll continue with the series. And I'm also reading Hold Back the Stars. I've got about 50 pages left to go and I'm really, really liking this book. It's so vague, like the synopsis on the back and whatever, so it's just not what I was expecting at all when I started reading it. But I really, really like the concept of it. And I think I've just got up to, I think, I'm not 100% sure. I think I've just got, got up to a twist in the book. So this is my priority today is to finish this book and whatnot. But yeah, I'm just really, really enjoying it. It's so different to what, I don't know what I was expecting, but it just wasn't this. But I really, really like it. Yeah, was it yesterday or the day before Netflix released the trailer for Heartstopper? That's coming out next month and I am so excited. So I'm definitely going to read the fourth volume this weekend. I'm just obsessed. It made me so happy when I saw it. And I think the casting, from what I've seen, is absolutely spectacular. Like... The lad who plays Charlie looks like Charlie from the book. Just, yeah, I'm just obsessed. So I'll definitely be reading this this weekend. Just finished Hold Back the Stars and had a little cry. <laughs> it wasn't a twist. It was an alternative ending. So there's actually three alternative endings. And it's just so good. So, so good. I'm giving it four stars. But it's basically set in the future and like the world as we know it is just completely changed like America has all but been decimated and a utopia has been created between like a lot of countries 
and they believe in the individual so they don't want people under the age of 35 settling down having long-term relationships or staying in one place more than three years um, they want you to grow as an individual but then everybody's doing the same thing so not people aren't really individuals you know, they're all following the same belief pattern system whatever but then the two main characters meet in their mid 20s and they want to be in a relationship together basically so it's just about that and it switches between present and them looking at the past as well it was just really really good and yeah i cried at the end <laughs> so now i'm going to i want to cut my hair I want to cut quite a big, big chunk off my hair. So I think I'm going to cut my hair and then raise heart stopper. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that because I need something to make me happy. <laughs> it was just so heart wrenching. But yeah, really good book. I do recommend it. few inches off and yeah it just really needed it but it'll grow in no time so I think I might have to cut the little bits around my face a bit shorter but I can't be bothered doing that just yet but shorter hair love it it's the next day so I didn't do too much reading yesterday I read um volume four of Heartstopper and a couple of chapters of City of Glass and that was about it. Of course I gave it five stars. Of course I did. And I didn't realise that there's actually going to be a fifth and final volume. And then there's also a like companion book that's being released in October. So my husband pre-ordered it for me for my birthday. I'm so excited. Yeah, this was just so lovely. It made me cry. Dealing with Charlie's eating disorder and Nick coming out to his dad and whatever his brother is an absolute horror bag what a horrible horrible human being <laughs> but it was just so lovely just I just love it I just absolutely adore this series and it's just made me even more excited for the series coming out next month yeah so now I'm going to put my shelves together and then once we can see the size properly we're going to figure out what we need to do to the skirting board between these units and the bed so that we can move the units down slightly because we can't put it where I wanted to put it because there's a plug socket and it's just a nightmare moving it and whatever so I'll just show you what we're working with so it's going to go in this space here don't know what I'm going to do with all this. Like, it's got all my hair tools there. I've got my camera um, there. All my hair stuff, like bobbles, clips, clamps, everything on top of there. This just look it just looks a mess, an absolute mess. But as you can see, I've got books in bags over there. I've got fairy loop books in boxes down there. Like, it's ridiculous. So, a bookshelf is desperately desperately needed i'm just like we'll just have to figure it out as we go along but i'm gonna get it set it up and see what we're working with This is what we're working with. I think 
the plug is going to have to be moved over anyway because I don't think just moving this unit down a couple of inches is going to allow this to fit in but I'm going to have more room down the side there than I thought I would so I'm thinking could I cut part of the legs off this standy thing and then fit it like sideways down there to put stuff on it I don't know I don't know but I mean does it look a bit daft there I would have preferred to have it up against here but it would mean moving the plug way over here rather than just moving it slightly that way so I don't know just have to wait and see when my husband gets back so this needs to be left filled a bit more sanded and painted again and then like here and here needs um like the filler or whatever it is along the side there and then touching up with the paint there's my bookshelf i've just got i haven't put any of the shelves in yet i'm going to do that once it's in the place it's going to be and then i'm going to sort that mess behind it and see <laughs> what i'm going to put in this space I'm just going to tidy up a little bit and then read i think because all this will have to wait until tomorrow now and possibly the next couple of days to do it so yeah everything's been filled in and repainted so <gasps> This can now go and be screwed against the wall and then I can start filling it up. Yay! It's a little while later, I've finished work, I've had a shower and now I'm going to crack on and start setting up the shelves and adding books and whatnot. This room is just an absolute <laughs> bomb site. I just want to try and get it back to as much normality as possible. I don't think I'm going to get everything done today. Um, because I am definitely going to have to think about some sort of solution for in between my wardrobe and the bookshelf for putting stuff. So, yeah, just going to do the shelves for now, I think, and then see where, where we're at then. It's been a while, it's been a good few days, um, it's Saturday and I've been busy, my bookshelf is up, sorted, it looks absolutely gorgeous every single time I look at it, I just feel so happy, even when I'm going upstairs to go to the toilet or something like that, I have a look at it and it just makes me smile, it's just brought me so much joy, so I'll give you a quick like overview of it. So the top shelf is my Caraval shelf, but then I've also got The Great Gatsby and my favourite ever book, The Red Tent. So yeah, just obsessed with that shelf. This shelf has got my favourite loot books on and then a few other hardbacks. This has got my graphic novels on and then Song of Achilles. This is manga and a couple of graphic novels and then this like fake book with bits and bobs in from fairy loot then i've got this one i have actually bought a little stand to put that up so it's like up up like that um series i've started um the first book in this series i think it's the graceling series um i'm really enjoying that so far and then i've just got some more mangas on the bottom because they were all i could fit in <laughs> this area still looks a big mess and i've still got that over there um so when i get paid i'm going to be getting like a 
three tiered like roll out like trolley thing like skinny trolley to go there which I think will just be perfect still need to figure out what I'm doing here um but once I've got the trolley thing to go there then this will change and I'll have space to to do stuff and display stuff does this lipstick actually look all right I feel like I like it but because it's a bit orangey it makes my teeth look more yellow than what they are but I couldn't help but get it because look how cute the packaging in packaging in packaging is it's like an embroidered little bear on it Um, got this from AliExpress it's really really cheap I think it was less than two pounds but it's so so cute so I've just thrown it on we're about to go out for a very early pub lunch but we've been to the pound shop and Right, I'm just going to show you. So I've got these two frames for a pound each. I'm going to see if I can do the Fairy Loot jigsaw that I got recently, whether or not that will fit in there. And then I really want to display the Once Upon a Broken Heart character cards that I got from Fairy Loot. And I'm going to see if I can put them in this and maybe kind of like overlap them to like a collage. I'll just wait and see. If not, they were only pounds each. I'm sure I can find prints or something to put in that I like to go in that space there. And I didn't realise that my Poundland was selling books. Just must have missed them. So I picked these up for a pound each. So this is the Temple House Vanishing. And it looks like it's about a girl for basically trying to figure out what happened to her friend and teacher 25 years earlier. So that looks interesting and the cover is absolutely beautiful. And then this one, this looks like it's going to be like a middle grade, but I'm not 100% sure, but it's got ninjas in it. So I was like, defo, defo picking that up. So as I say, we're going for a pub lunch now. And then when I get back, I might look at doing the photo frames and you know, seeing if I can put them there. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, let's just go and get some, some food. absolutely divine I feel quite sleepy now but I've got stuff to do starting with seeing whether or not I can get my character cards or my jigsaw in here so I'm going to start with the character cards and see if I can fit them all in you know what I mean my character cards in there they might actually be in that fake book thing let me have a look No, <laughs> they're not gonna fit. I mean, I can overlap them, whatever, but there's not like. No, it's just not gonna work, is it? So, oh well. I just have to find another print to go in this frame and find another frame for these. <laughs> So I'm going to try the jigsaw, so this is Monsters of Verity puzzle and see whether or not I can fit it into here. Hopefully. I love doing jigsaws, I just love it so much. It definitely doesn't fit the frame because it's more square than rectangle, but I'm going to see want to do it whether or not I can just fit it in here and then maybe just have something plain along the top or whatnot but even if it doesn't look right in this frame at least I can measure the dimensions of it so I can order a frame that's going to fit it perfectly so we'll just wait and see we'll have a little look just got this really thin piece of grey foam that I'm just going to use to back it because there's going to be space along the top and the bottom of the jigsaw so I need something to fill it with <laughs> do I have one that stands up like that or like that standing up yeah standing up 
how lovely does that look I'm absolutely made up with it so I'm going to pop that here somewhere but I'm so happy with it for a pound for that photo frame oh my god I just absolutely love it it's gorgeous Mother's Day tomorrow so I need to redo my nails and put tan on tonight and then I think I'm just gonna read so I've got less than 100 pages of City of Glass to get through and then I've started reading as I say the Graceland series and I'm really really enjoying it so far I'm only like I'd say about four or five chapters in yeah, I'm on chapter five and I'm really enjoying it. So that is my plan for this evening. I don't know whether I'm going to film tomorrow because as I say, it's Mother's Day. My mum's coming down um, or up from North Wales and then me, my mum, my cousin and my auntie are going on a little boat cruise where you have like food and Prosecco and stuff like that so it's going to be so so nice so I don't know if I'll film tomorrow 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 I don't know if I'll film tomorrow but yeah I'm just I'm really happy with how things are looking in the bedroom at the moment with my bookcase as I say just makes me so happy and doing that little jigsaw then has just made me die love it <laughs> it's the next weekend Okay, I feel like this vlog has just gone over so many weeks. It's so discombobulated and chaotic and whatnot, but I'm still in the process of sorting out this bookshelf area. <laughs> so I feel like it all needs to be put into one vlog. Haven't really done much reading though, to be honest. Um, I did finish City of Glass and thank God, thank God, Jason Cleary's relationship they're not related so I feel much better about that and there was enough elements of it that I enjoyed to make me want to read on to the next book but I do find it a chore if that makes sense because I just feel like oh just go, get to it kind of thing but today I am putting together the like little card thing that's going to go down the side of the bookshelf so that I can store all my bits and bobs and whatever but I still need to go through my wardrobe so that I can get rid of a load of stuff and make space in there so I'm not hanging clothes around I mean ignore all this behind me that's my husband's clothes that he's just like left out but that's what I do on my little hanging person thing from Ikea is just put clothes that aren't quite ready to be washed but have already been worn so I don't want to put them back in my wardrobe. Enough of my jibber jabber, let's crack on, let's get on and get this done because I haven't opened it yet, I don't know what it looks like, I think looking at the size of it it's going to be the absolute perfect size but it's just about rejigging everything and whatnot. so first things first got to put it together. So it's absolutely tiny. It's so small. I swear to God, looking at the measurements on Amazon, that it was not going to be this small. Um, I don't know, maybe it will work. <laughs> maybe it will work. Let's just see whether or not it does. I'm going to put my bits on and whatever and just see. I still need to hang my hair tool thing off it and I just feel like this is just going to tip over because it's so like light. I mean the wheel's great on it but kind of yeah the wheels are great but 
Right, let me just see. Let me just see what I can do with it. I think I'm gonna have to take, try and cut this back part off to try and make it fit and work. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do, I'm afraid. So this is what the final thing is looking like. Basically everything that I like have now to hand is in there which I'm really happy about and I've been able to put the like extension cable in there with me other camera chargers and whatnot like tucked away so they're not all like out and about and whatnot and then it's also got a hook so I can put my most used bag on there as well which is what I would have done on that thing the only issue is, is that I now don't have anywhere to put my camera, my laptop or the bin. <laughs> but the most important thing was to get my bookshelf up and running. Oh, and I wanted to show you as well. I bought two of those little like, what are they call plate holders and whatever. So I could stand my Addy LaRue little dish on there from fairy loot and I just think it looks so so cute so so happy with it that is all I'm gonna do in this area for now I'm not gonna bore you with trying to figure out the rest of the stuff and where that's gonna go and whatnot but I do want to sort out a couple of other things as I say that I got from fairy loot and I just want to put them into use kind of thing so we've got this lovely cushion cover in March's box. So I bought a cushion in it. I'm going to put that in. I don't know whether I should iron it first. Probably should. I'm going to do that now. Yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with that. How lovely does that look? Love it. One of the things I like to do with my fairy loop bookmarks is laminate them just to like protect them and whatnot. So I'm going to laminate the last two Um from the last two boxes that I haven't got round to doing yet. And then in this month, we got this absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, stunning book and a tea tin to go with it. And so I ordered some loose Earl Grey, like creamy Earl Grey tea that I want to put in there. And they also sent me this um, Quiet Mind tea, like sample, which was really nice. So, I'm going to do the bookmarks and then I'm going to put the tea in the tin and I want to take a Instagram photo with it. Hopefully it turns okay. Turns okay? Turns out okay. I can't speak. everything I wanted to do done I've made a cuppa I've got my big fluffy hoodie on and now I'm just gonna chill and read and I'm gonna end this video here because I feel like it's gone on for far too long it's literally taken me two weeks or whatnot to get this filmed um so I do apologize apologize for it being all over the place and there being not much reading in it but yeah just I just wanted to get my bookshelves up so so that is everything for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, then please subscribe. Bye.